disconnect the negative terminal in the battery. Just use an eight millimeter wrench. And slide that to the side. We're accessing the starter right in this location. We happen to have the intake off. You don't necessarily need to take the intake off to access it. It is significantly easier if you have the intake off. If you have the ability to just sneak in here with your hands to be able to access everything, you just take this hose off that goes to the brake booster. Just twist this back and forth just to get this out of your way. Pop that off and out of your way. This end attaches to the intake. Then you can access the starter, but it's not easy. Now we're going to take this wire off right here. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And take this wire off, set it aside. Take this nut off right here. This goes to the control wire or the signal wire. Use an eight millimeter wrench or eight millimeter socket. that nut off and sometimes they break take that wire off and take this bolt out right here use a 15 millimeter socket and then if you move this wire there's one behind here there's a 15 millimeter nut Take that off as well. Take that bolt out. Grab the starter. You might need to use a hammer, just break it free. the starter and slide it out. Take the new starter, line it up the same way it came off, line the stud up on the top. Slide it in position, get the bolt in, get, this, get the nut on the stud. Tighten this down. And make sure the bolt and the nut are tight. We're going to attach the wires. You just want to make sure, just take a wire brush, just clean up the wires a little bit. If there's any corrosion or rust. And put the signal wire on first. Just line that up. There is a lock washer. And then a nut. Tighten that down. If you can get a torque wrench in here, you can torque this to 20 inch pounds. Make sure you're on inch pounds, not foot pounds. It's not very much, just snug. 20 inch pounds. Now you can put this cable on just like that. Same thing, there's a lock washer. I'm put that on first. And the nut. And you can tighten that down. 
And again, if you can fit a torque wrench in here, you want to torque that to 80 inch-pounds. Make sure you're on inch-pounds. And then after you've done that, if you still have the intake on, you want to put this hose back in place. Just slide that back into the booster. Connect the battery. Line up the terminal. And snug that up. Make sure it's tight. 